I've been blocked. Creatively blocked. I'm constantly running out of ideas. The drawings I make are boring. I feel like a freaking zombie. And all of this is because I'm not doing the project that I really wanted to do. And that has got to change. So a few months back, I came across a challenge on the internet called 100 Days of Making Comics, created by a comic book artist named Kevin Cross. The challenge is very simple. For the next 100 days, you sit down every single day to work on your comic for 30 minutes or more. The thing is, uh, I'm not a big comics guy. I've barely read 10 comics in my entire life. I'm more of a cartoons and anime kind of guy, you know, like Powerpuff Girls and Texture Slab, you know, the good stuff. So I was like, hey, I'm not gonna do the challenge. But I have this story in my head that I really wanted to tell for a very long time. I love to make an animated movie or a web series about it, but apparently one guy with no money cannot make that thing work. So yeah. So I asked myself, like, what is it that I can do with the things that I have to tell this story? Then I was like, hey, wait a second. I love to draw. I want to tell the story. What if I combine those two and make a comic book? Ha! Ideas, you know, the silly things. So there you go, I took upon myself the challenge to make a comic book within the next 100 days. Yay! So here are the rules I'm setting for myself. I need to work on my comic book project every single day for the next 100 days for 6 minutes or more. I know what you're thinking, like why 6 minutes again Keshav? One, because it's very easy to start something when you just have a very small goal of say 6 minutes to work on something. And starting something is the hardest part of anything and I'm still suffering from not being able to start stuff. And remember my 100 day 6 minutes sketch challenge? The challenge works so well that these days I'm finding it really hard for me to not sketch on a particular day. I'm just like, you know what, I'm trying to stop myself to take a break but I'm not able to. I can see how this thing works and how the momentum of just doing something very small on a consistent basis carries over, gets compounded over the long run and makes things impossibly Superb, if done right. I am a perfectionist and a hardaholic, a person who makes things deliberately hard on a consistent basis so that things can be perfect and perfect. <laughs> because of that, I procrastinate a lot and watch YouTube 16 hours a day. That's not a good thing. Don't do that. So I was like, you know what? I need to stop this thing. So what if I take the lessons I've learned from my 100 day six minute skit challenge and apply that to other big and small projects in my life? In this case, the comic book. So what if I had just have this very small goal of say six minutes to work on my project? If I feel good on a particular day, I work more. If I don't feel like it, I just work for six minutes. So the key here is to focus on progress, not perfectionism. The story I have in mind for this comic is this big fantasy adventure of this boy set in this fictional world. And I've had the story for a while now, in fact over two years, and I really wanted to make this as a web animated series or an animated movie, but not exactly very possible for me to do that. So I was like, you know what, I can still tell the story through a comic book, so I'm telling the story through a comic book. The goal here is to make a 20 to 30 page comic, hopefully full color, along with 20-ish pages of devil developmental art and sell 1000 copies of it when it's done. Oh my gosh. Actually the thing is the story is so large that I really wanted to make this as like a hundred page plus comics. If I could just make 20 plus pages during this 100 days of comic book, I would be really really happy. So that's the goal right now, to make a 20 page comic. Hopefully sell 1000 copies at the end of this project, whatever that end final result may be. I know that's a big goal, but you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. If I don't get it, I'm fine, but hey, at least I'm aiming for it. So I finally opened up a Patreon account to fund this project and so I'll be posting like all the developmental art I make for this comic book, you know, the, the concept art, the character design, the sketch pages and everything, the sketches and also the rough outlines for the pages, the thumbnails, the final inked pages whenever they get done, everything on my Patreon account. I just have Wonder War Tire, Tear, Wonder War Tire, no Wonder War Tear, so that one thing make things complicated. 
updated. I'll be posting those things two to three times a week. No, four times a week. Two to four times a week. Because my only focus for the next 100 days is to make this comic book work and make videos along with that comic book, for which also I have the same five minute rule to work on the vlog or the video for this 100 days of your comics web series for five minutes a day. I'm keeping this very simple, man. I'm gonna make life simple. Like, why complicate life? Like, keep it simple and have fun. Like, why that's not a goal? Why do we have to make everything hard? I'm getting emotional. So yeah, you can sign up to my Patreon account if you like to. And uh, yeah, man, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm really making this comic book. I'm really happy I'm, re I'm recording this video despite all the traffic sounds. Can you probably can hear it. I'm finally free from perfectionism for now. Anyways, yeah, the goal is to be free from perfectionism every single day. So strive for the best, but do your best right now in this moment. Hmm. Man, I talk a lot. <laughs>